welcome everyone to Nintendo Red Cube coming to you live from the Gamescom here in Cologne, Germany. And it's so good to have you guys with us today. Hello and welcome to the guys tuning in through the live stream and of course also a big welcome to all the guys attending the show floor here at the Nintendo booth. I am joined by some wonderful friends. Of course, the guys from Nintendo of Europe, uh, Nintendo of Europe, which you obviously already know, <laughs> Chris I and know, I think Filippo. So. <laughs> but we also have a special guest over here. It's Kai from Frozenbite. Hey, it's good Hello. to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. How are you doing? Uh, doing great. It's been a uh, busy Gamescom and a uh, lot of people and uh, awesome energy. Yeah, I can imagine. So you, we are going to talk about Nine Parchments. I'm actually quite excited about that specific title because you can play it in a cooperative mode, which is for me something I just love. I just love to play with friends, and that's exactly what we are going to do right now. And I was like able to already play a little bit, but maybe you can explain it a bit for everyone who wasn't so fortunate. Uh, so yeah, Nine Apartments, it's a uh, co-op based uh, spellcasting game. So pretty much close to a twin stick shooter, but you're using wizards and casting spells at uh, all kinds of uh, fantasy enemies that are coming at you uh, in different kinds of landscapes. All right, all right. And it's coming to Switch, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't play it right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the best way of explaining that game is actually by playing it? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Let's uh, show the players or people around here uh, what the game is about and uh, yeah, just uh, just by playing it. Yeah. Perfect. So finally I can play with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. So let's jump into the game. So the character screen, or more or less the title screen, uh, there you can already see a few characters and you can also see, uh, I guess, gameplay that is far ahead from whatever we are going to do right now. Yeah. So let's get in. It looks beautiful. So this is the okay. character screen that uh, I was talking about, and there we have the possibility of selecting different kind of characters. Maybe you can tell us something about that. Yeah, so uh, the game has eight different playable characters. You start out with one character, and then uh, as you play through the game, you discover and unlock other characters. Um, it's, it's not just like uh, straightforward unlocking the characters, you first have to discover an item like the, the character's specific staff. Nice. Uh, the staff is then used, uh, it's kind of like a key and it unlocks a secret door in some of the levels. And then after you do a special kind of quest and then you can play as the other characters. All right, okay. So for example, the, the fire wizard that I have or uh, is, is player, well, the first player, but it's player three right now on the top of the screen. He's like uh, trapped inside of this icy cavern and you have to light these beacons on fire and uh, yeah. rescue him from, uh, he's like trapped inside ice. Okay, so all that's, right. That's the kind of quest that... And we're also going to play with Caribou, Cornelius and Gislan. Yeah. And they all have different skills, which we can see at the bottom of the screen. And yeah. if we just select the character, I was already able to see that there are like thousands of different hats and cosmetics, I guess. Yeah, well, not quite thousands, but uh, quite, <laughs> quite a few different hats. Uh, uh, right now, we haven't unlocked any of them. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still a fresh demo, so uh, we stuck with uh, the basic ones. Uh, but there are all, all kinds of different uh, cool hats and staffs that you and can... And staffs? Yeah. So is it just cosmetics or is it uh, also like skill related or something like the, that? The hats are purely visual ones, but the staffs, they can have uh, special effects. Nice. Uh, okay. For example, like a staff that uh, gives your melee attacks uh, fire damage and sets the enemies on fire. And All right. So let's jump into the game and then maybe just explain the controls for us at yeah. first. Because I know that you can jump, you can punch people, you can yep. use your skills, uh, and you obviously you can also that. walk around yeah. and change uh, the perspective of, of, of wherever you want to aim to. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned, it's pretty close to a twin stick shooter. So uh, with the left pace. stick, you move around and you keep your right thumb on the right stick uh, yeah. for aiming. And then uh, the right trigger shoots your spell that you currently have equipped and the left trigger does uh, a melee attack. So right now we don't have any staff, so they hit with their fists. All right. Uh, but th that's kind of uh, how you use the spells. Uh, you also can change your spells. Each of the spells has its individual mana, and you change the spells uh, with the bumper uh, buttons. I see. 
So it, it kind of goes into in, in the circle, and we have three spells right now, so it's uh, left and right pretty much what we want to use to switch. Okay. And uh, yeah, the blue bar is the individual mana of, of each spell. So each spell has its own individual yeah. mana bar, yeah. right? Yeah, so the, the yeah. way you play it kind of is like you spam the spells of uh, one... Uh, and then you oh, change yeah, them. Yeah, the, spam the mana of one spell and then uh, change the spell. Or you can like, use, the like for example, a freezing spell and then uh, finish the damage uh, with another spell. Okay. Oh, I gotta so say, I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, and there is friendly fire, right? Yeah, <laughs> friendly fire, so we gotta be a little bit uh, careful of the shield. Yeah, the yeah. shield also reflects uh, the beams. And uh, we tried before, you can combine these beams, right? So I can. Yeah. I only have the ice beam on my character, which is the yellow one, and I can maybe try to merge it with the fire. No? Oh. Yeah. It yeah. It becomes steam. Like yeah, yeah, we can use uh, fire and ice, and it makes steam. Chris, you just killed me. <laughs> Did I? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I will come to you because then your yeah, regeneration exactly. bar speeds up. So when you die, you have this circle, right? Yeah. And it takes quite a while for you if you just wait to respawn. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So the the respawn circle is uh, is our way to rescue our teammates. Yeah. Uh, the more people that go into the circle at the same time, the faster the resurrection works. I know ah. somebody is uh, a healer, so yeah, I, it's good to heal. I thought I'd make up to Tim because I killed You're him You're going to keep us alive then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And also Chris, please, it's the first time I'm able to play with you guys, yeah. and the first thing to do you do is kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. It uh -huh. was uh, an unintentional uh, <laughs> event. Yeah, yeah, sure. I like yeah, yeah. Call games with friendly fire art, you know, the type of thing that ruins friendship. <laughs> <laughs> But it also makes them. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I love how you can really um, combine the beams uh, to other enemies uh, to, to get like stronger beams at enemies because it sort of gives an extra aiming mechanism. And I think I, kill, I again reflected someone into it. Oh, uh, but uh, um, here you go. We saw uh, at the beginning when you have the uh, cutscene playing on the demo screen. Yeah. That there is not just fire and ice as elements, right? Yeah, Could you tell us which other elements are yeah, there? there is also electricity. Okay. Uh, then, okay, we have actually a life spell, so that's the healing spells that mm -hmm. we have. And then uh, there's also death spells. Okay. Yeah. And so, what happens if I combine fire and electricity, for example? It's uh, electric fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, like a strong, uh, strong, oh. or really strong. Uh, and enemies also have resistances, right? I guess these yeah. guys are spamming ice attacks, so uh, probably ice doesn't do much to them. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it actually there says immune. Yeah. 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 And the one on the top right corner, it had a shield. So does it mean that if you don't use a fire spell against them, they're not going to be hit at all? Yeah. I mean, some of the enemies are completely immune to a certain element, like the the blue lizards that we just killed. Yeah. Uh, then. The enemies can also have uh, like a barrier around them, which is it takes a few hits uh, of uh, like another element than that particular barrier to destroy, and then you can kill it with uh, anything uh, that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here you can literally go kill it with fire. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kill it with fire. And uh, the game also scales like in regards of how many players are joining, right? Yeah, definitely. So, like single player, the, if we would be playing this scene, there would not be like the screen full no. of enemies, uh, so <laughs> but the more players you have, the more enemies you're gonna face, and uh, the enemies will also have more health. Yeah, I see. So, okay, so. Oh, there I am. Yeah, we're on our way. Thank you. So, so many enemies. There's yeah. an elf, uh, elf. elf pick up here. Yeah. Thank yeah, you very I'm, much. I'm also now ready to make a health circle again. Oh. Oh, good. Just stand in a circle. Yeah, and oh. don't stand in my eyes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, it's mainly painful for yourself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is. So maybe we should tech? tell everyone who is playing which character. So okay. I have the blue Let's lady, that. which is actually dying right now. So shall we do that after we defeat this last enemy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's so some healing. For those who need it. This is why we call this game uh, that it has magic mayhem. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, sounds, it seems like it. So can you tell us a bit about uh, the, what you can say at least at this point about the storyline? Why is the game called Nine Parchments? And what, what, why are these guys just 
fighting a horde of monsters. Uh, so the the title Nine Parchments comes from the fact that. Okay, wait. Let's kill this guy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's vegan yeah. uh, with a trail of fire. So yeah, okay. Yeah, but you see that because all of us have ice elements, we could actually kill it. Yeah, really, really yeah. fast. But, so but we, we did it one time, fire. like with uh, mainly fire characters, and it was pretty odd. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So then, nine parchments uh, title comes from the fact that these guys are wizard apprentices, and they study at the, the Astral Academy, as it says on my shirt. Uh, so yeah, that's the school for wizards, and they study parchments, which is one spell in per parchment. And uh, to become uh, like a full-fledged, uh, like grand, no, not grand wizard, but uh, official wizard, they need to master their nine parchments. I'm okay. And uh, yeah, at the start of the game, all the parchments that are stored in the Astral Academy are actually blown into the four corners of the world. And so these guys are, uh, they decide to you know not stay at the Astral Academy and uh, study there, but they just go oh, after the parchments okay. themselves. And so they feel like we can already do it. So yeah, let's go. So why were you guys attacking me? What did I do wrong? I don't know. I just I mean I, I have no idea. That is the fire. The two things go together. I just do it. it wasn't me. Like it felt oh, like the I am on guard. I'm just gonna keep it. a constant loop. Oh, I'm so bad at aiming. At, at gaming. Yeah, at gaming. <laughs> <laughs> you heard right. Wow. That's why I was not allowed to play with you before. <laughs> no. Like when Nintendo hired me, they were like, Tim, you can talk a little bit, but please don't play anything. <laughs> don't touch the controller. Yeah. That's ridiculous, so don't do it. Oh, I think here we need some ice. Oh, oh those, those big jumpers are terrible. Yeah, and there's a gigantic wave of fire as well. <sighs> oh, he's I'm, keeping, I'm keeping him still by freezing yeah. him now. Freeze him and I'll punch him. You know what I find the hardest part? Like hitting with the channel spells. I don't know why. Maybe it's such exact angle. Yeah. Well, you it's because I think you need to start start shooting and then In while advance. you're shooting you adjust yeah. uh, the aim basically. Yeah. Yeah, you can also like adjust by just moving like slightly with the. Ah, right, right. Ah, yeah. Looks so easy when you do it. <laughs> well, but this is the thing with those like twin stick shooter kind of controls, right? That yeah. when you start, you there's really have to get used to the feel of it, and yes. once yeah. you yeah. get a hang of it, oh, there's a secret. What? Oh, 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 oh. We're oh, being guys, oh, okay, we're we're, fire. we're fighting. Okay, let's let's not go. Look uh, sure. Yeah, I'll try to. Not like I I play fell down there. one guy. Oh. 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 Ah, guys, if you go all the way <laughs> over there, I cannot revive him. I think my circle of revival will yeah, it's gonna come with you, yeah. which is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, this is, this, uh, against these enemies, you guys uh, should really use the blink spell. It's very useful to jump over the, the ice stuff. Yep. So that's kind of like a normal ability of all the wizards. Like blinking, uh, as you do, uh, yeah. as, like, of course. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a dash uh, kind of. Yeah. Instant teleport in front of you. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in blinking. Case, uh, in, we, yeah. we we are alive. We are all alive. So Let's you was, you had a secret you said or? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, you kind of missed it, but uh, we can okay. take a look at the next one. Damn, Chris. Okay. Yeah. You were too fast. Why did you went ahead? <laughs> <laughs> but we get to go far. <laughs> so yeah, he, in, inside all, all the levels there are like hidden secrets. Uh, for example, one here. A chest. Oh, okay, so wow. we, didn't, we didn't find anything, but you can like typically you like some of them have uh, the hats inside. Oh, nice. So the, the loot is uh, generated at random uh, in the chest? Yeah, okay. yeah. So you you might get something, you might not get something. Okay, ice. Oh, this guy is terrible. But let's get him. But with the beam, you can freeze them in place and then you guys can attack them. Yeah. Oh, and if we combine the beam to... Uh, yeah, we do steam, a steam. A steam beam, yeah. we yeah. can actually hit the enemy even if he's immune to ice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fire in this case. Yeah. yeah. Just that then you need to re-aim, right? So you need to like know how where they meet and then the angle that uh, the beam comes out at. Yeah, it takes a little bit of teamwork practice, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't comment on so that. So how long have you been working on this specific title for Switch now? Uh, well, it's been in development for like uh, one and a half, close, closing in on two years. Yeah. Uh, oh. Basically with a little bit different uh, team sizes throughout the development. Okay. And uh, for Switch, uh, I can't really... Remember exactly when we started, but sometime this year. 
uh, was like when we got it playable on Switch. All right. Uh, for like. Whoa. Here. Like really, really, really playable, not just like menu. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So what made you decide uh, to go for this kind of game? Is it because like your developers are like playing these kind of games a lot, or what made you come up with that? Uh, I guess we we are making quite a few different like small prototypes at uh, different stages of. Uh, development and uh, this was something we started yeah as I said a couple of years ago started yeah. working on this uh, it's uh, it's based on the Trine universe so yeah. they're in the, the same okay. universe as uh, the Trine so. games oh yeah we found a staff so next time we play the demo you can use the staff nice cool. but yeah so it's kind of like the, we wanted to tell the story of the wizards in the world of Trine yeah and uh, to do that you need kind of a, a little bit of different game than uh, the Trine games if you're just gonna use wizards mm -hmm. so uh, this is that story. Yeah. Ah. Okay, cool. Then I, that's I think I seem, seemed like I recognized a bit of the the style yeah. Yeah. of uh, how they look, how they're dressed, and uh, I I didn't understand that it was like actually uh, the same word as Trine. So that makes yeah. a lot of sense now. <laughs> and uh, the the wizard from Trine actually he's uh, one of the playable characters. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, but he's the the last character, and unlocking him is uh, quite it's challenging. A challenge. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, but it's Thank possible, you. yeah. Nice. Yeah. A little Easter egg, so this. Yeah. And if, if somebody has played the Trine games, they, they know the joke that Amadeus, uh, which is his name, can't cast a fireball spell. Oh, yeah. And uh, well, all of these uh, newbie wizards, of course, they know the, the They spell. all can cast a yeah, <laughs> and, and even still in this game, he won't be able to cast a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a restriction Excellent. on him. Perfect. So we just follow you now. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful world, by the way. Yes. I love it. I love and it's the really like a yeah, classic Whoa. fantasy. Like, are there any load times in between, or is it more or less just seeming less? Uh, well, at the uh, at the end of each level, yeah. Okay. The blink spell is really useful. Uh, yeah. To get, uh, because it's very easy to get cornered in an area and then yeah, especially, gang up on you. Especially because these enemies also leave a trail of ice. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get past that ice. Oh, sorry. Oh. Go to healing circle. Uh oh. No, I missed the healing circle. There's another one. And yeah, he didn't miss me. Oh. Oh, in that case. Oh, are we having? Yeah. So, the, what is the objective in the demo? Is there going to? Are we going to have a big boss battle at the end? Yeah. Now we actually just beat the first level. Okay. So the next one will be the boss fight. Ooh. And, uh, yeah. So let's heal each other first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no worries. Here, here's another one, just as a bonus. Yeah. Thank you. And I love the fact that you have friendly fire. Like, yeah. I really do love it. <laughs> Because, as I said before, in different I games, have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I just love blaming my teammates so for, my, for my own failures. So, yeah. would this be a spot where? Oh, just yeah, I guess. But maybe no, I think it's just danger. Oh, okay, it's the level. Oh, oh. no. So Damn. Like three levels. Yeah. I don't think we want to see the stats. I think I sucked. So, let's oh. see. Alice killed zero. Player three. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was me, yeah. Alice, <laughs> so. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Allies killed twice. <laughs> <laughs> I killed somebody as well. So damage, okay, yeah, damage friendly is quite fire. high. Self-inflicted. I'm like friendly fire is also not yeah. pretty high. Yeah, I actually. I think I like that blue player. Yeah, actually, yeah. I did the most friendly fire. So <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but Chris was yeah. the only one healing, obviously. I was basically dead for half of the game. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Three times, five times, two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So next level. Yeah, next is the boss fight. Ooh. And of course, like here, I guess cooperation will play an even bigger role. Yeah, and this uh, for the, the, the next fight. Uh, ah, wait, wait, maybe you want to give us some pointers before we Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, okay, so he's going to cast, like, uh, throw these acid balls on, on the ground. Yeah. You'll get a small, like, uh, heads up of where they're going to land. So just, like, uh, pay a little attention to that and try to avoid the acid. Uh, because it's gonna give you damage over time, mm -hmm. and then uh, he's gonna start casting like a fire beam, which will uh, explode all the acids. Oh, ah, okay. Ah, okay. So you don't want to stand at the acid at any point. And the blink spell is actually really useful here. Ooh. 
Yeah. No, Th those chests are, are really well hidden, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and they even blend if you find well. them, like... Oh, is that the guy? Yeah, that's the oh, boss. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, I was in the cutscene before. Yeah. So, mm. here's also a chest. Can you find it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so not that well hidden this time. Cornflower head. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, hey, I cannot yeah. equip it now, right? Yeah. yeah. In, in the the final game, you will be able to ah, right away get him, but uh, need to f need to show my my new attire immediately. Okay. The fact that you selected an ice skill su suggests to me that we're gonna need that. Yeah. There's so much space to run away, right? <laughs> well, not for long. <laughs> I'm trying to enhance yours. Uh, so here you can oh. see that because there's only oh, okay. there's a, because there's only one um, boss, it actually becomes a lot easier to um, not have friendly fire and still combine your beams oh. against oh against the the, the boss. Ooh. Oh, that hmm. was painful. And also, don't go too close to the boss; he's gonna hit you with, with melee attacks. Yeah, yeah, I have felt that. So should I stay with ice? Oh, sorry. Uh, you can use oh, we can anything. even reflect it into yeah. speed. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a type of situation where crossing the streams is useful. Yes. Oh. 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 I'm dead too. All right. It's the only one I can reach <laughs> right now. Thankfully, uh, we're playing the this game with the Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh, but we get one retry. One, one. one retry. Go back. back oh. to the yeah. OK. Ooh. Close one. Yes, we're making it. No, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh. So yeah, that's uh, the last chance mechanic. So uh, next time, if we all die, it's gonna be game over for us. But damn you, Mantis! We can do it. Here's a healing circle. Oh, watch out! And here's another one. Thanks for the heals. Does it also matter where we hit him I on his body? Uh, it's no, not really. No. Okay, I'm allowed to be able to beat this game. Wow, oh, also. Oh. Ooh. Now we're a bit too far away to hit him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mainly trying to get enough mana for my heal. Oh. That was not a good aim. Oh, oh no. Oh. No, yeah, don't go to oh, the watch out. Move, move. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So the game can be quite challenging, yeah. uh, as you can see. And yeah. <laughs> Maybe we are not that good. Yeah. I wanted to say we suck, and I think no. it's accurate. <laughs> I, think, I think we talked about practicing the segments before we just go live. I think this shows how like, um, for more challenging games we probably... Well, I practice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I just also. blaming myself here, because I practice, but I, I played single player, and uh, what I really yeah, the love challenge was not as What I from the preview that we see here is that yeah. you mentioned in the beginning it's a spellcasting game. Yeah. Yeah. And in the, this demo, those spells are mainly lines of fire and ice yeah. or just ice shards or fireballs. Yeah. But you can see that in the preview uh, video that you see here, you really see the spells uh, going all over the place. And, and many it different kinds of them, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's, uh, there's throwable spells, then there are the spray spells. Okay, the healer has a uh, ice spray. Uh, then there's like uh, ice or, sorry, electric wall, I think you can see it. Maybe here? No, not in this one. Uh, then, well, you saw like a fire totem there. Yeah. So there's ca different kinds of spells. Uh, okay, so you can also drop a totem and then it will attack automatically. Yeah, it's like a fire totem that yeah. will has like a, a fire that spins around and okay. damage anyone. Nice. So how long do we have to wait till we can finally play it on Switch? Uh, well, we don't have an exact release date yet, but it's going to be sometime this year. So uh, there's before the end of the year, yeah, will come out. Yeah. Okay. So there's I guess we still can practice a bit in the demo version, Chris, yes. and then <laughs> <laughs> we try again. Yeah. Yes. Although it's it's really nice. Too. I mean, I think the uh, will there be also support for? Uh, ah, no, it's twin sticker, so you need two. You need the uh, you need both. We right? will support the one Joy-Con. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Well. Nice. So that's uh, it's going to be cool for you know if you're on the go and yeah uh, yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, let's play nice. with some friends. Okay, so thank you very much, Kai. Yeah, it was thanks. great having you here with us today and giving us some, some insight into nine parchments. I'm pretty much looking forward to that game. Yeah. And then we four are going to play again together. Yes. Deal? <laughs> Hopefully next time we will be better. We, we yeah. won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, guys, from Nintendo of Europe, Chris and Filippo. It's yeah. always great to have you here in the Nintendo Red Cube and play some game with you.
I mean, it was the first time for me, but I enjoy watching <laughs> you play the game seriously. <laughs> so thank you very much for everyone who attended our show floor over there at the Nintendo booth here at Gamescom. And thank you very much to everyone who just tuned in into the live stream. Please stay tuned because we are going to have more for you. We're going to have a wonderful tournament over there at the battle stage for you, which is coming up in about one hour? No, it's like 35 minutes. And then I think uh, it's Pokken today. Pokken, yeah, it's Pokken tournament. tournament Deluxe. Yeah, yes. exactly. Looking forward to that. So I hope you guys are still with us then. So see you later.